in teachers, it's kind of weird being back.
Poland. Sorry, Greece. Sorry, America. Sorry, Australia. The only subject that will open doors for you around the world, various countries around the world, is English. The only one. Not engineering, not veterinary uh, school, not biology, not math, not history, not chemistry, not physics. Because you bring me up here, the smartest student in your country, and I take him or her to another country to work on a project with other people from other countries. How are they going to communicate, collaborate, work together in English? That is the purpose. Take this subject of English seriously. It will help you a lot in your future. So everything I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you for a reason. Because you can say the same thing to your students. Fellow educationalists, fellow teachers. You're not just teachers, what are you? What are you? You're not just teachers. What else are you? Educators, what else? Motivators, what else? Engineers, what else? What? Awakeners, what else? What else? What else? A nurse? Tutors, psychologists, what else? Friends, actors, actresses, performers, coaches, role models, superheroes. You are. You're more than just teachers, but you're students. Look at that smile. I love it. Man. Oh my God, I love it. Look at this smile. Look at these smiles. Five minutes ago, you weren't smiling. You were just like, holy cow, what is this guy saying? <laughs> what is this guy? We weren't expecting to see this guy. But now, you see what I'm saying? Education is so special. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's easy to do that. No, it's not. A... But, you're excited. Oh, a profession? I'm honest. It takes a lot of hours, a lot of time, a lot of emotion, physically, mentally, emotionally. And yet, we ask ourselves, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be a teacher. So I'm role modeling things that you can say to your students. Your teachers. I always recommend that you can empty pages filled with notes. Especially when I speak. Say a lot. Sounds good. Believe me, you know, you, no one can remember everything I said. I say a lot. I speak it. All my colleagues. I'm talking about public speaking presentation skills. Then I'll go this way, then I'll go that way, then I'll come back. Based on what I feel for you. My audience. Take notes. 
record whatever you want. Because there's a lot for us to share. So questions about minutes? Do some people still out and give them a chance to come back? Anything you want. Ask me. Students, you too. This isn't just for teachers, not that you're in the audience. This is this presentation. Holy moly. This is for you too. I'm going to be teaching you guys a lot today. Yes, please. Anything you want. And I use it. It's like anything. Anything. The teacher, motivator, influencer, vendor, consultant, friend, father, big brother. I'm talking to you today as all those things. So, who am I? Where am I from? What am I? Greek American, born and raised in the States. Started teaching, as I said, 26 years ago. It's been my life. I've culminated all my experiences. And my education, put it all together, and this is what I've come up with, what I'm doing now. It's a little different, don't you think? My approach, a little bit different. So today I'm here to help you, all of you, better your best. Because you're all great. You can always better. So I want you to be better today than you were yesterday. And I want you tomorrow to be better than you were today. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Okay. Because it's so you just stood up to speak. And I like that. That shows confidence. Right? How many people can do that? How many people can come up here and speak to a crowd? Teachers, when they speak, students, new teachers, it makes it a little bit different. When I say public speaking, I don't mean speaking in front of the public. I mean speaking to other people, students, other teachers, teachers to teachers, students, students to students. So, have you ever felt right here like little butterflies are just fluttering in your stomach? Like, you have to, like, you're like, should I? No, I'm not going to throw up. It's not that bad. <laughs> But it doesn't feel right. It feels it feels good. When you're <laughs> that's, that's a different webinar. That webinar is for another day when I come back again. Um, yeah. So you have to But students, you call that too? Or learn something right here. Sick. If you're worrying. Worry about something, right? A lot of people have to make talk in front of people, stand in front of people. They go, oh, I'm just a mom. Why am I doing this? This is not what I do. It was a little better. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to help them out. I'm just doing it. And I'm trying to share with you what I'm doing now. I'm giving you ideas already the way I'm speaking to you. How to let those right? Next question. Okay. Well, next question. No? Oh, come on. Don't be shy. I tried to break this. 
I don't really know students I haven't been to There's the teacher and then there's the student. I speak, you listen. You don't speak when I speak. <laughs> That's a policy. <laughs> but then, so that's it. Teacher, student. Then, don't stand up here. This is fun, right? With the Greek, a little bit. They said, I understand. And then, it's okay. A little tap on the shoulder. Right. Now, so we want to be like, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Nice to see you guys. This <laughs> you know, an occasional fist bump is okay. Occasional. We want to keep that. Now, take it down the levels. Take your question and add his question. Relationships, teacher student. Levels. You're teaching ideas. We get kindergarten, pre K, which I taught for one year. How many of you saw a kindergarten class with one of the sports Movie where he was a, a, a cop, he was a policeman, and he had to become a kindergarten teacher. That was me. I walked into class, and he came to life. Now we come in, these little midgets, just running around. Now we get up on my knees. Got it. I don't have to breathe in that book yet. And I spent most of the year on my knees. And so, hugs, definitely. Voice, very careful. Different way of teaching. Now, we get to early primary, first grade, second grade, third grade. All the tools, all the guidelines, respect, trust, honest, homework, Woo. stress. Woo. Open it a little, relationship a little bit more distant. Right. I look at you like a father. father. Middle school. Pre teenager. They challenge you in class a lot. High school. That's where that relationship changes a little bit. You're the cool teacher, but. Just cool enough that when you want respect, give them that death stare. They were just like, oh my God, he was cool two seconds ago. Best 
But yes, we have another question. Go ahead, Lauren. So during this 26 years, what changed your mind from being a teacher at the primary school in New York, becoming a house uh, uh, teacher? Yeah. What changed? Um, I was teaching in elementary school. My parents moved back to Greece. Right. I lived alone, and my career changed because of a car accident I was in, and I had to leave America and go to Greece. And so, teaching stopped, educating continued, but on a different level. I finished my master's, my double, I had my double BA in the States. I started working with executives and businesses, education, and I went there. Because of a unfortunate accident, I had to stop teaching that love. But never stop the love. Okay, so I got to I like my presentations. So, so yes. Oh. Fearful, scared, nervous about something. Do me a favor. Take out your pencil, your pen, write down in your book. I want you to write down two things that scare you, that make you nervous, that make you afraid. Yes, you guys do. Oh, come on. Just, hey, listen, you're sitting there, you got to write. Whip out pages, rip out pages, rip out pages. Come on, share. Let's go. One, seven. Come on, come on, come on. I love it. Good, good, good. Two things that you're scared about. Nervous. I'll start. I'm a pretty big guy. Pretty strong guy. So. Don't show me a spider. Don't even tell me there's a spider near me. Because it scares me. So I'm afraid of spiders. I'm fearful of spiders. Something else I'm afraid of. Closed quarters have claustrophobia. Good small elevators, sometimes airplanes. The bathroom in an airplane. Crypto. But let's think about English. Think about teaching. So, two things you're scared of, nervous about. Tell me one. Yes. Tell me one thing you're scared of, nervous about. One thing. You too? Claustrophobia? Oh. Don't get us in another way together. We get freaking out. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so look who, or as kids say, to look at the Indian. That was like that too.
That's deep. I'm not telling the truth, telling a lie. We all hate that. We've all done it. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've all done it before. Snakes. Slimy, slippery, slithery snakes. Who's up? I love it. You are living on that beat. <laughs> <laughs> you. You. It was a lion, wolf, animal. Yes. All animals? You don't like animals at all? Or wild animals? Okay. All the animals I can eat us. I agree with you. Me too. Yes? Something that, that scares you? So? I don't have that problem. Is it fear of heights? So I would never put you on my shoulders because I work like three hours, right? There was a survey in 2017 that said that the number one fear that people have is standing in front of other people and speaking. So this is a great question to ask your students. Ask your students this question, get them warmed up, get them more relaxed, right? Because when your students have to speak, there's a, there's a 10 second delay on my clicker. I don't like it. I don't know need that. My brain. <laughs> Now you click me out. I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, go. <laughs> The trials and tribulations of technology. Yes, there you go. Right. So, what happens here is students are because they don't sound like me. They don't sound like me. They have to sound like me. They have to sound like Thanks for some like YouTube videos, like the Netflix videos, like TikTok videos. Guess what? You guys don't have to do that. You don't have to sound like a native speaker. You just have to practice. And the first, you do what you just did now is a slide that I'm going to show in 10 minutes. Very good. And so, my question is. Where did this fear come from? What is this fear called? Is this called something? It, 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 it's, it's a protection, right? But there's a, there's a technical term, the fear in speaking in public. Yeah, something phobia. It's called glossophobia. Now let's break this word down. What else is that? Phobia. Phobia is easy. What does that mean? Fear. We got that. All right, that, that's easy. Glossa. Glossa. What are the sets of muscles that allow you to speak? What allows you to speak? You got it. Bam. Ten points. Your tongue. Your tongue. And in Greek, 
tongue is glossal. Glossal phobia, the fear of speaking. And that's what we have. We all have it. So, does this fear discriminate? Do only some of us have this fear? Others don't? We all have it at some point. Do you think I have it? Be so sure of that. What about genetics? You have a fear of snakes. Ah, wait a second. So you don't have experience with snakes, so it's about experiences. Uh, so if I get up to speak in front of a class and I have no experience, I'll tell you about the first day I was a teacher. The first officially I was a teacher, first day. Miss Diane was my um, my mentor, the third grade teacher, right? And I was with her for three months and oh, she had a baby. They told me I could continue to teach in her class. I hadn't finished university, it was my last semester. So I after listening now. Now the kids know me. I was with them for three months. I was with them. I'm at the class. I stand in front of the class and I have the principal in the back. I had to make sure I was okay. I was going to throw up and pass out. You know? I stand up there and what can go wrong? I'm allowed. To, I tell students they need to make mistakes, learn from trial, fail and again, fail better, which means you're improving. So within seconds, all of this stuff is going through my head. Teach. Started thinking. So this fear is not the screen. Everyone has it. This fear good or bad. Positive negative. Today, look at this. All the positive perception. Very So, Dr. House, I just told you something about my experience on my first day. Tell me, guys, some things that you feel when you have to speak in front of a group. Students, when you have to speak in front of your friends in class. How do you feel? Teachers? Give me a minute. Students, how do you guys feel when you have to speak in class? The truth is confused, huh? Because you're thinking what? In two different languages? I, ah, the ideas, so many ideas. I, how can I express my ideas in English? Guys? It's okay, there's no right or wrong answer. What, what happens to you? Active listening teachers. You see students? Now I'm going to be a bad guy. Teachers! <laughs> when somebody speaks in the minutes and we don't speak, that is disrespectful. We have respect in my class. Respect yourself, respect one another. Oh. 
be pure. But, but what happens? Tell me what happens physically. Do you think that the other guys are kind of better than us? Feel that we're inferior and Ooh. we start to. Are you listening, teachers? And we and we kind of forget what we were going to say. And what else? Now, 
Cuidado, 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 cuidado. Damn it, I can't do this, guys. I know it's hard. We try one more time. Wait. Wait. When it gets to, hold on. Five. Three, two, one. Breathe in. Hold it. Now, when you breathe out, do it for a count of four, not eight. Breathe out. Taking a moment to breathe helps. Because we live in a world where we run after, sir, what are you afraid of? Yes. What was your answer? Running at time. The time run after you. Don't rush the lesson. Don't rush the teaching. Don't rush the experience. Stop. Breathe. Smile. Now, why do I say smile? Because smiling does something. We have tiny little molecules that are designed to fight off stress. And these molecules pop up. Smile. So, these scientific neuropeptides, the neurons in your brain, all those ideas you have. Be a little bit more clear on how to express them. We clench our teeth. We clench our teeth. No, that's so. Dopamine, the endorphin, things that make you feel good. This is what I want when you're interacting and speaking to your students, when the students are speaking to you, and when they're speaking to one another. You need to relax. You need to relax. You have too much stress. Those little things that are on your desk that's in front of you called cell phones, technology stresses us out. Ding. Uh -uh. Technology can help us when it comes to relax, right? And so what do we do to relax when we're speaking for the people? It's normal to be anxious before you talk in front of someone. So meditate. Does anyone meditate? It helps. It does. I don't do it. it helps. Exercise. Yeah. This helps. Okay. Exercise helps. But we're not exercising enough because we, we are becoming lazy. Why? <coughs> but, um, anyway, exercise. It helps. Positive affirmations, positive thoughts, positive thinking. I, I already see a change in your nonverbal communication with me. I've been watching you all day. Ah. Uh, uh, why do you think I've been sitting over there just observing? So I want to see how you change when I speak to you. Oh. 
aromatherapy, music, and whatever else you do to relax. When you go into your classroom and wake up in the morning in your house, relax yourself. In between classes, relax yourself. During class, This is something I want you to put in every one of your classrooms. Students think they can. So guess what? They think they can learn English. And they probably can't. If they think that they can, that self limiting and self fulfilling belief might stop them from doing something that they're perfect. Does that make sense? No, because I made it a negative. I want your students, I want to Stop saying you can't do it. What's it out of I can do out Students give up so easily, don't they? They quit. Told you, I'm your coach. It might make you run. So, what I want is each and every one of them have a can do it out. This slide is for your students. in life is more important. It really isn't. Than the ability to communicate with her. Your best friend, wife, boyfriend, mother, grandma. So, communication. This communication. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about <laughs> so teachers and students are like I want you to trust in our abilities. Okay, really trust in our abilities. That's what we're here to say. This is professional development in its in its in its worst form, purest form. Okay. You will be more likely to see difficult situations that we use every day in teaching as a challenge instead of a threat. See, I use these words very carefully. Don't Think of it as something threatening, something that you have to do. Think of it as something that you want to do. Enjoy doing. That gets difficult sometimes, challenging sometimes. You can overcome that challenge if you communicate effectively. So, now it's going back. Oh my goodness. Our person in How about I just do this? Let's put it all out there. So I don't want to get that. I'm doing that on purpose. That's what you have to do. You have to make the environment 
friendly and relaxed. Okay, so like for example, you'd be like, so the present simple versus first present continuous, but it's something really silly and make them laugh. I have I have a webinar on that called Grammar 007. We walk you the next grammar. Like you make grammar for us, believe it or not. That's what I'm going to do with the one. Butterflies in the stomach, love, passion, passion, important. And so it says, be careful, they can tell that you are, which means you don't care. It means you stand there and you can't just finish the class. Just to get out of the class. We didn't see that. Right, guys? If you don't care, then they won't care either. So then stop making the excuse. Well, if, if two days of a quiz have this attitude, how do you expect them to do well? So, sprinkle a little passion every day on your teacher. Be sincere, be authentic, teacher. Don't be like someone else. Be yourself. Great. Listen, listen more closely. I mean, fun. listen more closely to discover why English is important to you. So, write this down. Three questions. Why? What? How? So, why? Why are you learning English? Why are you going to my class? First question, question. And they must write it on the answer on a piece of paper before they answer you. So what happens if you go, what happens if you go around the, the classroom having them answer? When you get to the fifth student, they start copying their answers. So have them write it down and then read it out loud and show their answer. Next question. Oh, dear students. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations in life? What is it that you really want to do? Now, what do you want to be a daddy What do you want to do? Write it down in a piece of paper. Well, we want to be engineer, veterinarian, doctor, TikTok, Instagram star, singer, songwriter, I know what, you name it. Next question. How do you make the bridge? Why? What? How is English? How do this class going to help you to be a better doctor, better instrument, better this, better that? That's where they're going to go. Next 
and they're going to be aware of their reaction. I'm not, when I explain all your steps, that baby steps, guys. Once they go, that means giving them what? My purpose in class is going to make you want to be successful today. A little bit. All of you. Baby steps. There. So, when you speak, public speaking, communication, what's the reason? Just keep clicking on it until the whole thing comes up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. One more. That's it. So, when I give a presentation, sometimes I may go on and on and on and on. But my. <laughs> She agreed very easily with that statement. I did not like that. But when I go on and on and on, I give it tips and tips and stuff to talk about. But when you start going on and on and on, you see, guys, the present simple is like this because let's go over 50,000 examples so you can understand it. And we go on and on and on. But they get it at the Example, but you just keep going on and on and on, and they're just saying, oh. well, who, who, do you have the time to stop talking? No. What is this here? <laughs> 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 so, let me see if there were any of them this side. So, way too much. Way too much. You know what I did when I taught the present simple? I put two examples, two examples of it. The class that you speak. Two examples of present simple, two examples of present continuous. I paired it with students and I supplied the difference. Explain, talk about the difference. Make up your own rules. Why? And then with the Okay, get into groups of six and talk about your answers now collaboratively. Find similarities, find differences. Okay, let's make a list of each group. Let's put them on the board. That's how I taught. Grammar. Different way? Yes. Did it work? Yes. Was it a risk? Yes. Right try. Uh, next. Next one. Fun. Fun. Main points. So, you have your lesson plan, don't you have bullet points? During the day? I want to finish this. this, this. Every point you make in your lesson needs to be supported with examples, facts, pictures, videos. Because students are both sensory. They don't want to hear you just speak, but you're listening to these people all this time. Usually, my presentations have videos and other stuff. Okay, because this one is about speaking and public speaking. So I have to give you all of the examples live by me. So, stories, stories in class. Tell me the stories. I'm sure you guys have plenty of stories. So you have plenty of stories to share with your students. Connect stories, experiences of your own with less topics, subjects. Okay. A student story. Tell them a story of when you were a student so they can empathize. You can empathize with them. Tell them a story of when you were a teacher. Tell them a 
personal story. And that's where the relationship gets closer. Don't be afraid to do it. A great way to connect. Next. Yeah. You believe this? You do? You all believe this? How many of you do not believe this? Raise your hand. I used to believe this when I was young. But life, as I say, is full of experiences. You learn from your experiences, listen to those around you. Practice makes improvement. There is no perfection in my class. No student is the best, no student is perfect. Okay, I to get straight A's. It's the best. No, he, she isn't. Always better? You know, always better? Thank you. You're best. Like I said before, be better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today. That's what I want you to just believe and feel and have that growth mindset. Practice makes improvement. You always improve your perfection. Don't take, you'll know when I'm serious. <laughs> the words that are coming out of your mouth. All right, got it. Are so, mean so little as opposed to what you're saying. To body like. Oh, facial expression. I can roll out the facial expression this entire time. Okay. Change your facial expression. We don't care. We don't care. Change your facial expressions based on how you want to emphasize what you're saying. Smile, relax, relax your face. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Nice to see you all today. So, today, we're going to be learning new vocabulary. See, I can't stand. I got it. I can't see without my glasses. So I, I used to be able to see my slides from over in the back. Um, let your face add variety when you speak, pronunciation, intonation. You're private. Really? Are you serious? I mean, oh my goodness, congratulations! I can't believe it! You're trying hard. You're studying. And I usually get 60. Okay, so Make the time throughout the week to do it. Make the time. There were.
I can't. Are they doing it? Are they doing it? I saw these guys in the back, I apologize. But because of my bad eyesight, not, I can't see you very clearly. Um, I try to connect with everybody. Okay, I try. Try to stand. Now, when you have 30, 40, 50 students, you have a thousand people in front of you. What do you do? Chunk them, group them, scan the groups. Okay, scan the groups. Um, yes. Last mistake. You look at the floor, there are notes. Don't look at people. People are nervous, they don't want to. They're like, oh. Man. try not to do that. Make that eye contact to you engage your students. Especially students that are not paying attention. That's why it's so important to walk around and command the room, right? Because if the student isn't paying attention, you talk over here, you do that over there. Okay. And you come back again. Right? Well, when you're speaking, you say, stop talking, please. Yes. Oh, wall hunters, like the like the like the chain hunters, or or when that time shows, like when you're talking in class and you're like, right? Yeah, it's 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 horrible. But like some people, I'm gonna make fun of some people. That's okay. It's out of respect. They do it with the podium. That podium. This is the I can't stand this thing. Right, and people can't stand me because they want to take a bit out of you. Other people do. They want to take videos. Be like, please extend the time. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. Nice to see you. I just want to crack this when you're going to break it. It's like, it's It's all about what life has taught them. Never know. On 46, 46, do the math. On 46, I have fought 26 years of my life. Wow. Yes. So I have a lot to hear, but sometimes I feel like my brain is going to explode. And so, future global agents of change, dear teachers, this is your of your career as teachers to speak in front of people. If you still have your phobia and you don't get better at it. All my friends, then you guys are going to get better. But if you don't, you're going to find yourself unable. That's so, as my dear Maya, absolutely. 
for love my my mentor my answer the greatest visionary icon ever to walk this earth people will forget you're just gonna forget what you said in class you're gonna forget what you did they will never ever forget the way you made them feel so i hope I made you feel something today. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.